An Irving woman living with the sadness of losing a loved one to COVID-19 has created a way to honor all of the victims. As our Steve Pickett shows us, a special memorial exhibit goes well beyond the daily count of COVID deaths. Amber was an RN and contracted the virus. They could be the faces of anyone. He passed away two days after Thanksgiving. Rosie Davis knows they reflect the heartache of everyone, everyone living with the loss she's faced. My mother's name was Mary Castro. She had just turned 75 years old on April the 9th. Mary Castro's death in Irving last May was tied to COVID infection. Every face mounted on this wall inside Irving Archives and Museum is someone taken by COVID's cruel and killing infection. The portraits are part of Rosie's Yellow Heart Memorial exhibit, a display of remembrance to counter a cavalier count of COVID cases. Every time I turn on the TV, all I hear is numbers. My mom, she wasn't a number. We have to start humanizing these numbers and we have to stop becoming numb to this death and realize that this is hitting people like me. It also hit Hannah Ernst. Because my whole project is called Faces of COVID. This 16 year old from New Jersey creates digital drawings for families who've lost loved ones to COVID. So far, she's made 700, including her first, her grandfather. And she too is tired of numbers. Like I said, the number drowns out the person. You know, you would never know in the increased number that we have now. My grandpa, who was my world, I mean, he was everything to me. Um, you know, he was one of those people that now contribute to it. Rosie Davis is also adding yellow hearts with names attached for those who don't have drawings just yet. Four faces here she knew personally and hopes the Irving Memorial will help others see beyond the numbers of COVID. In Irving, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News. It's a really important message in that. And the Yellow Heart Memorial opens Monday, January 4th inside the Irving Archives Museum.